What is up guys, I am back with part 6 for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house and in this video we will be finishing the interior layout so we have to do the second floor and then the attic. Alright, I grabbed some of the blocks we're going to be using, so I have some light gray concrete, chiseled quartz blocks, pillar quartz blocks, stone buttons, dark oak planks, white concrete, and quartz stairs. Okay, so I'm going to start with my light gray concrete. This is going to be used for the walls. We'll start over here where the staircase is. We'll add a layer of light gray concrete right on top of the walls that we already brought up and we'll bring it along until we're right here on the edge of this doorway. Okay, now what we want to do, skip over this and then start right here, continue it along. Alright, then wrap it around here. Fill all of this in and now we're going to stop it here. We could fill in two blocks. We'll leave the corner empty. You know what? Yeah, we'll fill in the corner. So we filled in three. We'll wrap this around. Then bring it out. One, two, three. Wrap it around here. And then connect it back to where we started. So right along here. And right back where we started. Okay, now let's switch to our dark oak planks. We'll add a four right here where this doorway is, which leads to the balcony. And then we'll switch to our pillar quartz blocks. And right here on the edge, we'll place one, two, three, four on each side. And then the fifth block is going to be a corner block, then some sideways blocks, and stone buttons to cover up the corners. All right. Now, let's see. We'll go ahead and just switch to our dark oak planks and we'll completely fill in all of the floors in here. So just where, like all of the space within that light gray concrete we just placed is going to be dark oak planks. And you know what? I'll go ahead and just grab a potion of its swiftness as well. Alright, I'm just now finishing up with the floors. Okay, so at the original build, this was just a big open area. The reason why it was, was because we have this window here. We couldn't really have like a wall here because the window. So this was just like a pool table right here. We had like a couch. It was just like a big open area. Staircase went up here. But, we'll have a wall probably going like straight across like right around here. And then, we can probably have a wall right here. And then fill all of this in. We could have a bedroom here. Maybe. We'll see. Or we could leave it open. Okay. So, now let's continue with our light gray concrete. We'll add a layer on top of the walls once again all the way around. Alright, now let's switch to our chiseled quartz blocks and we'll add a layer on top of that light gray. Make sure to just skip all of the windows. Okay, we added the layer of chiseled quartz. Let's switch back to the light gray concrete. We'll place one, two, three four five six more on so like six more layers of light gray on top of the chiseled quartz so it's like the same thing that we did on the first floor so i'm gonna go all the way all the way around add these layers just wrap around the edge of the doorway and the windows and then we'll start doing some of the actual layout All right, I just about got all of the walls filled in up here. So I did completely cover this section up, but we are gonna be cutting out a doorway 
for possibly like an extra room in there uh for this part over on this side we can maybe i'm still trying to think if we could have if we do have a wall here this probably isn't going to be much either way so we'll just leave it open we could possibly have like a laundry room in there or if we have enough room we could have a half bath but let me continue filling in the rest of these walls and then we'll um yeah we'll do this section first maybe just add a doorway leave it at that is that we'll add a doorway here fill all of that in is that now we're gonna have a staircase going up here to the second or to the attic which will be the final part to the interior layout okay so this is what it looks like and now let's start cutting out some of those doorways so starting here first all right let's start cutting out the doorway here and see if we could actually use this space so we're going to skip over two spaces from the right then we'll cut out four bring it up another three layers so that it is four in total these blocks here are the exterior to the house so i'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to use this space but we'll see we'll try let's delete this layer of light gray then we'll just have some chiseled quartz blocks for the floors so i'll completely fill all of this in all right just about got it all there we go then let's switch to maybe the white concrete we'll fill this in on each side and then we'll go ahead and bring it out one extra layer and then add a layer on that so it's two in total so out right here and then a layer on that now let's switch to the court stairs we'll start We'll uh, place it right where all of these stone brick stairs are and place two layers of upside down quartz stairs. Or maybe just one. Yeah, just one actually on each side. And then we'll have full box of quartz right here in the middle, which we actually have to grab. I'll switch out the potion of swiftness. Okay. So it looks like we might be able to pull this off. Let's switch to the pillar quartz blocks. We'll place one, two, three on each side. Then the corner block and two sideways blocks. And then we'll have one more quartz stair on each side and then two more blocks of quartz. <laughs> I mean, it works. We'll have the stone buttons here. This door isn't going to be doubled up because we actually can't even see any of the walls on the other side. So for this man uh we could we could have like a full oh wait we have to add a layer of white concrete here you could actually leave it as light gray but we'll add a layer of white concrete just so all of the walls are the same so for this we could have a bathroom we could have a laundry room so i would say we could probably have a full size bathroom in here let me see so if we have a bathtub here I'm just seeing uh, this. Don't do this. Then we could possibly have a toilet here and a sink. Yeah, we'll make this a bathroom. All right. So when we start doing the furnishings, this will be a bathroom. Okay. So it, yeah, normally I would make my doorways for the bathroom just one block wide. But so it's all even, we'll make it two. Okay. Now we have that done. We'll head on over to this side and we'll have like a bedroom over here. Okay guys, so I've been trying to think and for the big opening space here, we don't want like a giant open area. It's not going to make sense. So I'm going to switch to my light gray concrete. We'll have a wall going straight across here. So when we walk up the staircase, there'll be a hallway here. At the end of it will be the staircase leading up to the attic, but we'll have a bunch of doorways leading into some of the bedrooms here. So, let's delete these quartz stairs just right here. These ones are going to stay. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and delete the like uh, this layer as well. Now, you can switch to your light gray concrete. We'll add two layers on top of this. And then just continue pushing this back until we meet up with the wall. Right there. Keep in mind, we still have a doorway to put there. And we'll have like a wall 
right here. So we'll walk into this room and it'll uh, carry on down there. This would be like a bedroom. We could possibly have a bathroom here as well. Okay, then here, this could possibly be like the master bedroom because this entire space will have as a bedroom. Maybe like a sitting area over here, bed over here or whatever. Okay, so let's see. Or if we have a wall here, then that could be the bedroom. This entire space could be like a bathroom, like a big bathroom instead of this small one here. Uh, no. We'll go ahead and leave this all open. Okay, so let's head back over here. Let's add a layer of chiseled quartz on top of this wall. Just like on top of this layer of light gray concrete. And then let's add another six more layers of light gray on top of that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to completely fill all of this in. Okay, so I brought all of these walls up, so this is what it looks like. Remember, probably like the big master bedroom here. This space and then the space under there will be like a bedroom and possibly a bathroom. I have the hallway here, we'll have a staircase going up. Okay, so now let's start doing all of the doorways. Okay guys, so if we have a doorway right here leading into this room, and we have the staircase going up here. The staircase might kind of cut off the doorway. So I'm thinking we could bring this wall over just one extra block. So right here. And then we'll delete that extra layer. So this is going to be just one block away from this window here. So fill all of this in. All right, just two more layers. And then we got to delete that other layer. So is this layer here? Oh, let me use the potion. All right, and then we'll have the doorway like right on the edge of that wall. So there's enough space in between the doorway and the staircase. So we'll bring this over. And then one more. So we'll have three spaces here. And then we'll have the doorway. Let's bring this up. So switch to your pillar quartz block. We'll place one, two, three on each side. Have the corner and the two sideways blocks. This doorway is only going to be one block thick since all of the walls are the same color. Then some buttons on the corners. So there we go, we have that doorway, leads in right here, and then here, let's say if we cut out, let's skip over three, cut out two here. Okay, so we'll leave one space here at the left, and then we'll cut out four, bring it up four in height. Okay, now let's switch to our pillar quartz blocks, we'll bring it up three on each side, then have the corner block. All right, then two sideways blocks. We'll switch out this uh, light gray concrete. We'll switch with wood for now. And I'm thinking this and actually, should we even have a doorway here? I'm trying to think what this could be. Huh. Let's see. So this obviously isn't going to be a bathroom. Maybe we could leave this all open here the best that we can. So we won't even have like a doorway here. I'll see. I'll see what I could do. But we'll leave it like that for now. Let's do the doorway leading into this big bedroom. So we'll have it maybe like right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we cut out four. We have four spaces here. Bring it up. And then have one, two, three on each side. The corner block and the sideways blocks. 
Whoops. Okay. Cover up the corners with some stone buttons. And then this will be a big bedroom here. We'll have like the, uh, the big master bed here. Maybe like a sitting area there or something. We'll see. Okay, let's make sure all of this is good. This should all be fine. So yeah, now we just have to figure out what we gotta do there. But... Yeah, so I guess that'll be the next thing we do. Let's figure out what we want to do here. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. We could delete this wall. And this could be kind of like part of the hallway, which leads into that bedroom. So let's delete this wall here. Sorry about all of the changes. Like I said, I did want to change the layout from the original build. So I'm kind of just like freestyling it. So we're going to delete this here. And then we could possibly switch to the light gray concrete. We'll place two there and then two there. And let's uh, delete one there. So one there, two there, and this could be a laundry room. Add a layer of chiseled quartz and then six more layers. One, two, three, four, five, six more layers of light gray. Switch to the pillar quartz. One, two, three, four on each side. Oh wait, no, three on each side. And the fourth block is going to be the pillar quartz on the corner. Is then two sideways blocks and three layers of light gray, four layers of light gray. Okay, that is tall. Why is that so tall? Thought it was only three. Huh. Okay. Oh, then we have like our ceilings and stuff. Whatever. Um, but we do have to make some adjustments for the floors up on the attic. But let's have some stone buttons. Okay, so this will be like a little laundry room. And we'll switch out the floors with some chiseled quartz. Okay, there we go. So this will be a laundry room. And that we can walk into here, this will be a bedroom. With possibly a bathroom here at the end. Okay, so... Let's, uh... Yeah, let's fill in the floors. Let's switch to our dark oak planks. We'll fill in the floors, which is fill in all of this space. And we'll bring it back until... We are... Here, we'll do this side. So we'll bring it back until we're right here. So we have one space. We're like right on the edge of this pillar quartz. So we have the one block here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. We'll fill all of this in with dark oak planks. This will be the bedroom. Over here will be a bathroom. So yeah, that should work out. All right. Oh, got to use the potion. Let's switch to... We'll continue using light gray. We'll place two like this down here at the bottom. And then one extra on top of that. Oh, wait. This is going to be chiseled quartz. Let's do the same on this side. So two like this. And the chiseled quartz. And now let's switch to our quartz stairs. Well, actually, let's do this wall first. So if we have a wall here and a wall here, that makes this one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I guess that'll be fine. So yeah, we'll have the wall going across here. We'll have... Just uh, one block on each side. We'll bring this up like that. So it matches like this doorway. And now let's fill in the floors for the bathroom. So chiseled quartz. And 
And then you can switch to your light gray concrete. We'll add two down here at the bottom. And then one, oh, whoops, chiseled quartz here on the top. So two here, two here, two here, two here. Then just like one here in front of the window, some chiseled quartz. So that this isn't just like one block thick, we'll add a extra, an extra layer here on this wall. So now this bathroom is five blocks wide. And let's go ahead and bring this over like in one so that the doorway is only going to be one block wide. And then let's do our doorway. So one, two, three on each side. Then the fourth block is going to be a corner block. Then a sideways block. All right. Now let's do the quartz stairs. So we'll start in the bedroom. We'll have a layer of upside down quartz stairs. Skip the window. Then we'll go up one more. Right here, we'll have, what the heck? Oh, okay, uh, four blocks of quartz and then upside down quartz stairs going to straight across. Then on this side, we need two layers of upside down quartz stairs. And then we want to completely fill the rest of this in with full blocks of quartz. Okay. That all looks good. Then we have a window there. This is going to be like a bedroom. Not sure how this is going to work out. But it should be fine. Or we could just have a bedroom here and no bathroom. And then it could just use that. I don't know. Okay, so I guess here, instead of having a bathroom here, we could just continue the bedroom. Because if we have a bed like right here, there's just like not enough room. Oh, you know what? There is. Never mind. Forget what I just said. This should be enough space. So we have the bathroom here. We'll have some upside down quartz stairs, two layers. We have to have four blocks here, some more quartz stairs. Go to this side, two layers of quartz stairs. Then some full blocks of quartz. And then here in the corner, we'll have some stone buttons. This side we can't have any, but on this side we can. All right. So that all worked out. And this should be a pretty nice sized bathroom. We have a small bedroom here. We have a laundry room. Then this is all kind of just like the hallway. We have a big bedroom here and another bathroom, which is really small, but it'll work. And then we'll head on up to the attic with the staircase. We'll bring a staircase up right here, have the attic. And we could possibly squeeze in two more bedrooms up here with each probably with their own bathroom. We'll see. But let's uh, start heading on to doing that then. All right, so before we head on to doing the staircase, which leads up to the attic, let's switch to our white concrete. We aren't going to be on the top layer of the light gray. We're going to be one block higher. So we're going to have the ceilings here, then our floors. So let's go ahead and do that. Just one block higher, right on top of all of the light gray concrete for our ceilings. Completely just fill in all of this space here, which is like the hallway and this bedroom. And those are all of the ceilings we have to fill in for this floor. So I'm going to completely fill all of this in. I'll uh, grab a potion of swiftness. And I'll switch out, I'll just switch out the uh, potion of night vision for now. And I'm going to completely fill all of this in with some white concrete. Alright, I just about got the ceilings filled in for this section. And there we, hang on. There we go. Now let me uh, just get rid of this potion. We'll store it for later just in case. And let me get the night vision because it's about to run out. All right. So before we do the crown molding, let's do our staircase leading up to the attic. Then we'll do the crown molding. Then we got the attic and then that'll be it for the interior layout. So yeah, at the original build, we didn't have any of this here. We didn't have this room. This hallway was not here. 
we weren't able to have this room or that room so we had it we completely changed the entire layout of this house and now we have more bedrooms more bathrooms and yeah we don't have like a big random open space up here it's an actual hallway not just an open space so i think it'll be better all right so uh for this let's switch this out to light gray like that i think that looks better there we go i like that okay now let's start bringing up the staircase to the attic then we'll do the attic and then that'll be it for part six all right now let's start doing the staircase leading up to the attic so i have all of the same blocks that we used for the other staircase so blocks of quartz quartz slabs quartz stairs dark oak wood stairs and dark oak planks so we'll start with the dark oak wood stairs and we want to bring it up four in this direction so we'll start it right here on the edge of that window so we have one two three whoops and then four so we started it we have like one block of space in between this stair here and this window brought it up four in that direction now we want four blocks of wood we could turn to the right we'll bring it up one two three four we'll delete all of these white concrete blocks then five and six in that direction so we have four going up there we have four blocks we turn to the right bring it up six then uh, we'll have like a hallway up here and yeah let's see if we have the hallway like this and then like a block here that's gonna be a big hallway and by the way uh over here uh we have to fill this in with blocks of quartz i forgot to do that so a block of quartz here and then normally i would have like two more blocks on top of it like that so uh yeah that was a little mistake that i guess i just forgot to do we did it here just forgot to do it for this window no biggie okay so for the staircase so that the hallway isn't so uh wide let's delete this and we'll bring it up two in this direction so we have one and then two like that so we brought it up two now let's have full or uh, four full blocks like that turn to the right we'll bring it up one two three four five six seven and eight so now this goes up eight is that we'll have like a block here for the wall and a block here for the wall so now it's a four block wide a hallway and that'll be good so that's better so two going up in this direction four blocks and then one two three four five six seven eight okay now let's see what else we can do let's start actually doing the design for the staircase so switch to your full blocks place one along the side of those stairs one on top of that then follow along here and we'll delete an extra two blocks here and we'll stop it let's bring this continue bringing this up okay so we'll stop it like that for now on top of these blocks we'll have upside down quartz stairs and then this final one right there okay and actually if we have yeah so this is actually going to be a solid wall okay trying to think now so i have an upside down court stair like two upside down court stairs like that so it's three in total up here then we'll turn it actually nope we're just gonna have oh man what the heck okay we'll have three like that let's delete this other layer of white concrete and then we're gonna have a wall right here so we'll delete this layer and we'll have some upside down court stairs 
So we have one, two, three, four, five block gap, and then some upside down court stairs. And then two more to meet up with that court. Oh wait, we actually have to push this back one extra. So it's right there. Okay. So for this, we'll actually curve that stair so we can't see that white concrete. And then let's go underneath the staircase. We'll have two upside down quartz stairs to cover up that wood, if I can. Let's patch that back up. And then some more upside down quartz stairs until we meet up with the top, like that. Use our potion. We have to have some slabs under here to cover up that wood, so let's actually delete that. Have slabs here. Then some more stairs. And then we'll have a slab underneath all of these full blocks of quartz. Okay. And now, we'll have some uh, two stairs facing upward like that. Switch to... Let's actually grab light gray concrete. And add a layer on top of these quartz stairs here. We'll stop it on the edge, add an extra layer. And then one more layer on top of this, which will be some chiseled quartz. Like that. I'm pretty sure this is probably the most confusing thing you've ever seen in your life. I am very confused right now, but I'm trying to like do it as best I can. Oh man, okay, so we have the staircase going up right here, same design as the other one, then we turn to the right, okay, then we just have this gap here, two blocks, then we just have a wall. That is all we did, and yeah, it should be fine. Okay, now, yeah, see this is why I normally like build the house before I actually do the tutorial. Because if I like freestyle it like this, it's like so confusing. But now we have this wall here. We'll switch to our light gray. Go right on the edge here and fill in two layers. And we'll bring it until we're right here on the edge of this staircase. And then you can see there is some stone brick here. So we'll have some court stairs going up to uh, patch all of that up. All right, let's continue our light gray concrete around here. We'll stop it, and then we'll continue along and fill it in until we're like right in front of that layer. Bring it all straight across. We won't worry about any of that space. We'll just bring it straight across. So this is gonna be the hallway. We'll meet it up there, add an extra layer of light gray here. And then we'll get under here. We don't want to get right under there, we just want to have it right along the edge of that white concrete for the ceilings. And we'll meet it up where we started. Let's add one extra layer of light gray on top of that so that they are two in total. And then, let's see. We're actually not going to fill that in, we have to do our floors. Okay, so we have to bring this out one extra layer. So right here we won't worry about it, but for this side, we have to bring this out one extra layer, and then we'll have our chiseled quartz. So two layers of light gray and then the chiseled quartz. All right, chiseled quartz. Layers of light gray here. And then a layer of chiseled quartz. All right. Now up here, we have this wall. So we'll switch to the light gray. We'll add an extra two layers here, straight across to the back. And then a layer of chiseled quartz. Now we'll switch to our dark oak planks. We'll fill all of this in for the hallway. So just dark oak planks for the floors in here. All 
right? So yeah, when I originally did this attic, I only had one bedroom and one bathroom. Like the entire attic was like the bedroom and the bathroom. In this case, we have a hallway going here now. We'll be able to have like two bedrooms and we'll have like a bathroom right in the middle. So they'll, they'll share a bathroom. Okay. So now, yeah, this was very confusing. But let's add light gray. A layer of light gray on top of the chiseled quartz for this wall. Then we'll go on to this wall and we'll do the same thing. So good thing we use light gray for the walls in here. Because then we have this so it like all matches. So it's all it all worked out. If you use a different uh, color of wall, you might have to bring this out one. But then it might not work. Okay. So, there we go. That was frustrating. Let's switch to our quartz stairs. We'll have maybe like two layers along this wall. We'll bring it straight across here for that gap. We'll go up, oh wait, right here. Let's have four blocks of quartz and then the layer of upside down quartz stairs. So blocks of quartz. And there we go. And then we'll have like our ceilings maybe. You know what? We'll go up one more layer. So three layers of quartz stairs. Okay. And now on this side, it's going to be a little bit different. So we'll have one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll have five layers for this like hallway opening here. All right, let's switch back to our light gray and bring up this wall right down the middle to divide this. Just like that. An extra three layers should be fine. So we'll bring this all the way towards the back. All right, let's head back over here. So we have that all brought up. And now, let's switch to our blocks of quartz. We'll add a layer right here for the hallway. And then we'll fill in a layer here above the staircase area. All right, like that. Now, let me get in here. And we'll start dividing all of these rooms. So I have a bedroom there, a bedroom there, and a bathroom maybe in the middle. So let's have... Oh, use the potion. Let's switch to our dark oak planks for the floors. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then we'll have the bathroom here. All right. So yeah, we'll have eight blocks here for this bedroom. So we'll fill all of this in with dark oak planks. And then we'll fill in all of the floors for the other side. And then for that space in the middle will be chiseled quartz. Switch to the light gray. We'll have a layer on top of the wood on each side. Then a layer of chiseled quartz. And then we'll continue bringing up the light gray to the same height as the other walls. All right, so right here. Then we'll have one, two, three layers of quartz stairs. And then we'll have a layer for the ceilings, a layer of uh, blocks of quartz. Okay, let's cut out a doorway here. So one, two, three, four, make it a total of four blocks in height. 
We gotta switch this out with chiseled quartz. Then the doorway. So uh, we won't worry about the doorway quite just yet, but it'll be right there. Let's go to this room. We'll have the doorway right here. So we'll leave one block of space on that side, two on this side. Bring it up a total of four. This will be dark oak planks. Let's have three layers of quartz stairs. One, two, three. And then our layer of full blocks of quartz. All right. And then let's do the same over here. So we left two spaces on that side. So two spaces here and then cut out four. Make it four blocks in height. Switch this out with dark oak planks. Three layers of quartz stairs. And then a layer of blocks of quartz. And then I think all we have to do are these doorways and then we have the interior layout done. Okay. Yeah, I know this was definitely probably very confusing. So sorry about that. Be sure to definitely let me know if it was. I'll try to help you guys out in the comments. I Like I said, I normally never do this type of stuff. I've never done rebuilds of my own builds before, so this is new to me. So I'm trying to change it up because these are old builds and they're not very good the first time I did them. Trying to make them better, but at the same time, it's like a freestyle, so it's like hard to explain everything while I'm freestyling it at the same time. But let's have three layers of quartz on each side. And then the fourth layer will be the corner block. And then sideways blocks. Okay, so this worked out pretty good. And then we'll cover these all up with stone buttons. We'll go through and see how many bedrooms and bathrooms we actually ended up making. Because I have literally no idea. I think it's like four bedrooms. I, have, I don't know how many bathrooms though. Okay. So let me head back down. Make sure we did everything. Oh, we got to do the uh, crown molding down here. So, um... Yeah, let me grab some quartz stairs. We'll have the crown molding in here for like this laundry room. We're not gonna have any crown molding anywhere else except for the rest that we have to do on this floor. So let's do this bedroom. All right, and then we have this hallway. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just go right along here, right underneath all of that, and just follow along it, wrap it around, and is this going to work? It's not really going to work. All right, let's not have crawl molding here in this hallway then, or we just don't have to worry about it for this section where the staircase is. But we can have it right here. So the crawl molding will be right here, but it won't be here anywhere, which is good. It's fine. Maybe we could actually do something like that. We'll leave it like that, actually. That's fine. All right. Let me head back down and see. So we have... One bathroom, and then two bathrooms, one bedroom, then uh, three bathrooms, two bedrooms, then this is bathroom number four, and then bedroom four, so four bedrooms, four bathrooms? I think so. So one, so two, one, three, two, four, three, yeah, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Okay. 
Okay guys, there is one thing I wanna change. So we have this big bedroom here where this hallway is on the second floor of the house. I did just end the video, but I think this will be worth it. So we'll grab this light gray concrete and this chiseled quartz. We'll have the wall going straight across here. This will be the bathroom for this room. Then this could be like a closet leading from the bathroom. Then this will be the bedroom. This is definitely big enough. We don't need this extra space. We'll use this as the bathroom. Let's have a layer of chiseled quartz. Let's grab the pillar quartz block and the stone buttons. And we'll have a doorway just lined up with that other doorway. All of this wood we can switch out with chiseled quartz. Because I feel like this isn't big enough to actually be a uh, bathroom for this big of a bedroom. So it'll make more sense to make this all the bathroom. Fill this in with chiseled quartz. All right. And now let's have our doorway. So one, two, three on each side. Fourth block will be the corner. Then two sideways blocks. Stone button. Then light gray concrete. We have to delete each uh, stair like that. Fill all of this in with light gray concrete. All right, let's uh, bring the crown molding around this side of the wall. And then we gotta do it for this side. And that is all I wanted to change. So now this will be the bedroom, really big still. Then this will be the bathroom and this will be a hallway from, or not a hallway, yeah, a closet, my bad. A closet from the bathroom. And there we go. That is all I wanted to fix. And now that is going to be it for part six. Alright guys, that's going to be it for part 6 for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house. If this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 7. Later.